Hello there. Uh, this is Ariel Ferrar here. Here. And uh, I am going to be talking to you today about how you can jump right in to using the fabulous research um, and information tool Zotero. Um, as you probably already know, uh, Zotero, uh, as it says on their website, is free and it's an easy to use Firefox extension that helps you collect, manage, cite, and share your research tools. But what I don't think the website tells you at least well enough is how to actually begin using this product in um, an entirely accessible way. So um, what I plan to do is um, give you a hands-on experience that will uh, help you uh, jump right into using it. Um, I hope you enjoy these videos. Alright, we're gonna begin the screencasting in a minute, but before we do, uh, first of all, go ahead and download Zotera. If you haven't already done it, um, go ahead and do that. I assume you can manage doing that on your own. One of the things Zotero does is it has the capacity to extract all of the bibliographic information from the from particular websites, and these are common websites. For example, Amazon, um, New York Times, YouTube, uh, Google Books, uh, Scholar. Um, anyway, what I need you to do is open up a Mozilla window and find, pick a topic, maybe it's education, maybe it's ducks, whatever you're interested in, and find, um, five, it's a good sampling, five, uh, different sources that you might want to see again someday. Um, Alright, so as you see I've got a New York Times, an Amazon, a YouTube, a JSTOR, and a Wikipedia article. All these different uh, uh, types of websites use a different icon up here. Um, this little folder for New York Times, a book for Amazon, a document over here for JSTOR, a film clip for YouTube, um, etc. And this is the icon that once it shows up, it, you know that that is how you will grab the information. So, uh, you can, if this icon does not show up, you can man manually add the information, but we'll deal with that later. So, down here in the right, you'll see saving item. That's how you know it's, it's gone into your little stock of, of items. So, as you see, you just click on the icon. It's working for all of them. Uh, JSTOR here, and then we go to add the Wikipedia page, and this little thing pops up here. These are some of the citations on this page. If you want more specific citations for a particular uh, aspect of the page, you're going to have to, you know, choose that thing in particular, like two down here. Just so you know, not every Wikipedia page has the same problem with the, you know, um, uh, multiple citations. Um, so if, if we, for example, go here, <clears throat> you'll see this little book icon here, which means it's just saved the entire page. Um, that sort of has to do with the amount of references uh, in the page, uh, somewhat. If you would like to add the bibliographic information from any of these references here, you will have to do that manually, and that will be gone over later. It's not too difficult, though. Don't worry. Alright, so I've showed you how to add some information to your Zotero. Now I want to show you really quickly how to manage it in a, in a very basic way. So you're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner, click on Zotero. It will hopefully open right up. And go ahead and make it full screen using this button over here. It's easier to use. Now, um, you'll see all your Kurt Vonnegut stuff. Right now we're in My Library, which has all of the, the citations you've ever um, encountered. But right now we're going to go here, click a and click to make a new collection and that will be the Vonnegut collection. Now just go ahead and drag and drop all of the Vonnegut information into the Vonnegut folder. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please email me with any questions or comments or things you would like me to clarify. 
Uh, this concludes the first Zotero tutorial video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Future videos, by the way, will not have this uh, annoying rocking feature, because I won't be filming them on my bed. <laughs>